Hello everyone, welcome back to Canada Immigration Matters. If you're dreaming of becoming a permanent resident of Canada, you're in the right place. Today we're diving into the express entry process for 2024 and we're going to walk you through how to create an express entry profile if you're a skilled worker looking to immigrate to Canada permanently. This step-by-step -step guide will walk you through everything you need to know to successfully apply and boost your chances of receiving an invitation to apply. We'll explain the criteria, the steps, and the documents needed to complete the profile online. Remember, it's crucial to be truthful and to provide proof of the information in your profile. Let's get started. What is Express Entry? First, Let's understand that Express Entry is Canada's primary immigration pathway for skilled workers. It is an online system that manages applications for permanent residents from skilled workers for three federal economic immigration programs, namely the Federal Skilled Worker Program, Federal Skilled Trades Program, and Canadian Experience Class. What are the latest changes and updates in the Canadian Express Entry System in 2024? In 2024, the Canadian Express Entry System introduced several key changes aimed at addressing economic and labor market needs. Here are the main updates. Category-based draws. The Canadian government has increased the use of category-based draws to address specific labor shortages. Categories include healthcare, STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, trades, transport, and agriculture, with a particular emphasis on attracting French speaking immigrants. CRS score trends. Comprehensive ranking system scores for general draws have generally increased, often exceeding 500 points. Category specific draws however, tend to have lower CRS cutoffs. For instance, recent scores for healthcare workers and French speakers were 431 and 470 respectively. Enhanced use of technology. Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC is incorporating advanced analytics and artificial intelligence to improve application processing, fraud prevention, and risk assessment. Provincial Nominee Programs PNPs. PNPs continue to play a significant role with increased targets for 2024. Over 110,000 immigrants are expected to be admitted through these programs which align provincial needs with federal immigration goals. Economic Immigration Targets Canada's 2024 Immigration Levels Plan aims to admit 485,000 new permanent residents with a significant focus on economic immigration. Federal high-skilled programs will welcome 110,770 new immigrants reflecting the country's priority on attracting highly skilled workers. These updates reflect Canada's ongoing efforts to streamline its immigration system to better meet the country's economic needs and address labor shortages in specific sectors. Let's move on to determining eligibility. Are you eligible to apply for Canada permanent residence through express entry? To get started, you'll need to determine your eligibility. Visit the official Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada IRCC, website and use their eligibility tool. Make sure you meet the criteria for one of the programs. You will see the link in our video description area. If you are not eligible, you may be eligible for other Canadian immigration pathways. Reach out to Chugo Immigration to do a comprehensive assessment of your eligibility and options to immigrate to Canada. Our next question is what is the CRS score? The Comprehensive Ranking System CRS, score is a points-based system used by the Canadian government to assess and rank candidates in the express entry pool. 
evaluates factors such as age, education, work experience, language ability, and other criteria to determine a candidate's eligibility for immigration to Canada. Now that you know what is CRS, how do you calculate your CRS score? To compute your CRS score, you need to consider several key factors such as core human capital factors. This includes age, education, Canadian work experience, and official language proficiency. Next is spouse or common law partner factors. This includes education, language proficiency, and Canadian work experience of your spouse or partner. Another is the skill transferability factor. You are looking at your education and foreign work experience combined with language proficiency. Also, there are additional points such as provincial nomination, a valid Canadian job offer, Canadian education, whether you have siblings in Canada and French language proficiency. You can use the CRS calculator provided by IRCC to get an estimated score. A major question that most of you ask is this. If you check your CRS score and it is low, how can you increase or improve your CRS score? Here are several strategies to improve your CRS score. One is to improve your language scores by achieving higher scores in IELTS, CELPIP, or TEF Canada language proficiency exams. Number two is education. You can obtain additional educational qualifications or ensure your foreign credentials are assessed by an Educational Credential Assessment ECA. 3. Work Experience You should gain more work experience, particularly in Canada. 4. You can secure a nomination from a Canadian province under the Provincial Nominee Program PNP, which can add 600 points to your CRS score. 5. Job Offer You can try to obtain a valid job offer from a Canadian employer. This may not be easy, but it is possible. Lastly, Spousal Factors If you have a spouse or common-law partner, consider including their educational credentials and language proficiency tests. Some of you have been asking us about the recent CRS cutoff scores in 2024. As of the latest express entry draws, the CRS cutoff scores have varied, with general draws often requiring scores above 500. For example, recent targeted draws for healthcare workers and French speakers had cutoff scores of 431 and 470, respectively. You can see how important it is to look for ways to improve your CRS scores. It will make a big difference. Canada has shown that it wants more French-speaking applicants, more healthcare workers, and more STEM professionals. The rest is up to you to meet Canada's requirements. We move to the steps for express entry. Step 1 is creating your Express Entry Profile by first creating an IRRC account. Once you have created an online profile, you will be entered into a pool of candidates. This profile will include details about your skills, work experience, language ability, education, and other personal information. Your profile is ranked using the Comprehensive Ranking System score, which awards points for factors like age, education, work experience, and language proficiency. Please, try to be honest and thorough when creating your profile because this will be used to calculate your CRS score. To boost your CRS score, consider improving your language test results, gaining more work experience, obtaining a job offer in Canada, or securing a provincial nomination. Once your profile is complete, you'll be entered into a pool of candidates. Step 2. Language Proficiency Test Why do you need a language proficiency test? Language proficiency tests, such as the IELTS, International English Language Testing System, 
are a crucial part of the express entry system for several reasons. 1. Assessment of communication skills. Proficiency in English or French is essential for successful integration into Canadian society and the workforce. Strong language skills help immigrants communicate effectively, access services, and participate fully in community life. Employment readiness. Many jobs in Canada require a certain level of language proficiency. Employers need assurance that potential employees can perform their duties effectively, especially in roles that require communication with clients, colleagues, or the public. B. CRS points. Language proficiency is a significant factor in the CRS, which ranks candidates in the express entry pool. Higher language test scores can substantially increase an applicant's CRS points, enhancing their chances of receiving an invitation to apply for permanent residence. Skill transferability. Strong language skills can also boost points under the skill transferability factors, particularly when combined with other qualifications such as education and work experience. C. Economic benefits. Immigrants with strong language skills are better positioned to contribute economically. They are more likely to find employment, achieve higher earnings, and have career advancement opportunities, which benefits both the individual and the Canadian economy. Productivity and innovation. Proficient language skills can enhance workplace productivity and foster innovation by improving collaboration and understanding in diverse work environments. D. Meeting immigration program requirements. Many immigration programs within express entry, such as the Federal Skilled Worker Program, have minimum language requirements. Meeting these requirements is essential for eligibility. Provincial Nominee Programs PNPs. Some PNPs also prioritize candidates with high language proficiency, reflecting regional labor market needs and integration policies. E. Official Languages Policy Canada is a bilingual country with English and French as its official languages. Demonstrating proficiency in one or both of these languages aligns with Canada's official language policy and supports the cultural and social integration of newcomers. This is the end of part one. We will continue on part two of the same video. If you have any questions or concerns, you can contact IRCC or consult with Chugo Immigration Services for professional assistance. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates on Canadian immigration. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We will see you in part two. Thanks for watching.